In this video, we're going to have a look at the very basics of Scratch. Now, what I've done before this video started is I made myself an account on Scratch. You're going to need a username and a password. And now I've logged into Scratch. Now, this is important because whenever I make a game, I want to save it on the Scratch website and not worry about losing my work. I'm going to click on Create. And what will happen on my screen now is you'll see the very beginning of a game. So whenever a game starts in Scratch, you're going to end up with a little cat. That's the Scratch cat. That's always sitting on your screen there. Now I'm going to go through a few buttons. They're kind of important to know what they do. So I'll go through them quickly. We have our two resize buttons. One, when you click it, will make your character go smaller every time you click it. This button here will make your character grow if you click it. That's really useful when you have actors and things on your screen and you need to make them bigger and smaller. The scissors will actually delete any actor or character or anything you've got on your screen. I'm not going to click that right now because I actually need this cat. And this one over here is a duplicate. So what it does is it will actually copy anything that's on the screen. And sometimes that's useful because you need two or three of something on your screen. Now, as we look down here, you can see I've got Sprite 1 and I've got Sprite 2. Now, let's delete Sprite 2 by going to the screen, picking it up and moving it away. I'm going to click on the scissors and just click on the character and you can see it's disappeared. Now, while I'm down here, you can see I've got a cat, which is actually called Sprite 1. If I click on the eye, I can change the name of my sprite to cat, which makes it a lot easier. And the rest of this we'll talk about later. I'm going to click on that triangle so I can go back there. Now, if we go over into the middle, you can see that I have my programming blocks here. We'll talk about that in our next video. We have a tab next to it called Costumes. And you can see that this cat has costume number one, which is the cat standing like this. And costume number two, which is him kind of doing a step as if he's walking. So you can see that I've got two different pictures for the same actor, the same sprite or the same character. If we also look in this part here, you can see that there's something called a stage. If I click on that, you can see that my stage is white and I've only got one thing called a backdrop and it's backdrop one. What I can do here, for example, is click on the bucket fill, go to a color and fill the color. And you can see that whatever I put in the backdrop changes everything in the game. I'm going to put that back to white for now. Now, if you want more characters in your game, it's very simple. You can go to this little line of buttons over here. And the first one, which looks like a little person, if you click on that, a library opens up of all the different things that you can download in Scratch. There's quite a few when you look through. And there's quite a lot of choice. So you've got animals, you've got characters, you've got objects. And even when you get down to it, you've even got numbers and letters, which can be really useful later on as well. For now, I'm going to close that because I don't need it. You can also click on the little paintbrush symbol and make a brand new actor or a sprite or whatever you need. So in this case, for example, I can just draw a ball, fill it with a color, and you can see it's on my screen right now. So it's really easy to make actors, make characters, make backgrounds in Scratch. And it's actually quite a lot of fun painting and drawing and moving things around on your screen. I'm just going to delete that last actor because I don't need it. Now in the next video, we'll talk about how to get this cat to move left and right.